In this video, we're going to show you how to replace a passenger side front axle on your Ford Expedition. Using a 22 millimeter socket, we're going to remove the six lug nuts. Remove the tire. Using a pair of pliers, we're going to remove the axle nut cap. Using a 13 millimeter socket, we're going to remove the axle nut. Push on this knob, make sure the axle moves freely. If it does not, you can thread the nut on a few threads and then hit it with a soft face hammer or until it moves. We're going to reach up behind the inner fender liner and on these two white clips right here, we can pull them through. And here we'll find the connector for the ABS sensor. There's a push button right here. Push that and remove the connector. We're going to reach up behind the inner fender liner and on these two white clips right here, we can pull them through. And here we'll find the connector for the ABS sensor. There's a push button right here. Push that and remove the connector. Following the ABS wire down, we're going to remove all of the clips. Pull it through the hard brake line on top. Pull it out of the plastic stay. Using an 8 millimeter socket, remove the bracket for the ABS wire. And we'll pull that harness over to the side. Using a 10 millimeter socket, remove the bolt for the brake hose bracket. Remove the vacuum hoses from the hub. Using a 21 millimeter socket, remove the caliper bracket bolts. We're going to use a hook to hang the caliper. And we're going to hang it from the upper control arm. And we want to hang it in a way that there is no tension on the brake hose. Remove the rotor. Using a 21 millimeter socket, we're gonna remove the nut off of the upper control arm. We're gonna put our nut back on, just a few threads so that when we hit right here and release the tension off of the ball joint, the arm doesn't just fly up. Using a hammer, we're going to hit in this area. And remove the nut. While I was trying to take off my nut, the stud started spinning. So we're going to use a pry bar and pry down on the upper control arm to put some pressure on the stud. and then remove the nut. We're going to push up on the upper control arm and pull forward on the knuckle. As we pull forward on the knuckle, we're going to push on the axle shaft and drop the knuckle forward. The head of the strut bolt is a 27 millimeter. We're going to hold the head of the bolt while we remove the nut. Remove the strut bolt. Using a 18 millimeter wrench, we're going to hold the bottom of the sway bar link. And using an 18 millimeter socket, we're going to remove the nut. Pull the axle out of the hub. Using a pry bar, we're going to get behind the axle and gently pry out and you'll feel it pop off. Using a large pry bar, we're going to pry down on the lower control arm. 
While you're doing this, make sure the axle does not get bound up in the knuckle. We're gonna pry that down until we can remove the sway bar link out of the way. We are also going to pull the shock over to the side. Once you've done that, you can remove the axle, pull it straight off and out, install the axle. Line up the splines. You can give it a good shove or use a saw-faced hammer and hit the end of the axle until it fully seats. We're gonna get our axle started into the hub. We're gonna line up our sway bar link. Also going to line up the shock. Then we're going to push up on the lower control arm. You could use a jack to help you. Install the shock bolt and get the nut started. Get the sway bar nut started. Snug down the strut bolt nut. Torque the strut bolt nut to 406 foot pounds. Snug down the sway bar nut. Torque the sway bar nut to 80 foot-pounds. Push the knuckle up. Make sure the axle lines up. We're gonna pull our upper control arm stud down into the knuckle and get the nut started. Using a pry bar, Wedged in the spring, we're going to put some tension on the upper control arm and push it down so that our stud does not spin and we'll tighten the nut. <laughs> Torque the upper control arm nut to 111 foot-pounds. Tighten down the axle nut. As you're tightening it down, you may feel the axle get pulled towards you. When you spin the hub, you want to make sure that the axle is spinning with it. That means they are engaged together. Once that happens, torque the nut to 20 foot-pounds. Install the rotor. Remove the caliper off the hook and install it onto the rotor. We're going to get our bolt started. Snug the bolts down. Torque the caliper bracket bolts to 180 foot-pounds. Put the bracket into place and get the bolt started. We're gonna pull the ABS harness over. and get that bolt started as well. Snug them down. Install the ABS harness into the plastic stay. Install the harness holders. into the body mounts. Install the connector. Push until you hear a click. If you don't hear a click, give it a pull 
make sure it's connected, and then we'll twist it up and put it through our inner fender liner. Install the vacuum lines onto the hub. Install the axle nut cap. You can tap it with a hammer into place. Install the tire. Get your lug nuts started. Snug down the lug nuts. Torque the lug nuts to 150 foot-pounds in a star pattern. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.